Hey, g'day guys, it's Calvin from the Car Tune Company in New Zealand. I do a heap of 1UZ conversions and wiring. At the moment I'm setting up a Link ECU with a uh, 1UZ. Done a whole series of setup videos, and I kind of missed the cam and crank sensor part of it. I was about to make it go, and I remembered that the settings that are in this computer, because I've converted to, to individual coils, was going to hurt my eardrums. Because it was going to pop and fart and bang and backfire and blow flames. And that was bad. So here we are, do the video on cam and crank sensors. I have done a full video on wiring this, which, which has got pinouts and a whole lot more information. This is just a brief one. And how to set up the computer. So, you see here I've got the crank sensor. The outside wire is the signal, the inside wire, so this is pin 1 is the signal, pin 2 is the earth, going back to the computer. I've put a brand new sensor in this one. That'll, when it turns up to the customer, it's going to have a big S written on it. With the link, we use the left hand cam sensor. It's the one that comes out through this hole. No, it's not the right hand. You know, this is, this is my left hand, and this is my right hand. Need a little L. Alpha left, but it's from driving, so behind the engine, behind in the driver's seat. Otherwise, this side would be um, the, the right hand drive cars, and you're not, that's a left hand drive car. So, sensor again, pin one is the signal, pin two is the earth. So I've actually written it on this plug, so we, you can see the red wire was the positive and the white wire was the negative. So you only need the two of them. So the way it works is the computer needs an input of how fast the engine's going, which is good, got that. It uses the, the 12 tooth on the VVTi, it uses the, it's the crank sensor. So we use that the speed or the crank as a sensor. And the it then needs a reference on when to fire the spark. So we're in the 720 degrees of engine revolution to time it up correctly. So we have a sync sensor or a position sensor. In this case, we're using the cam sensor. So we're going to pop into the computer now and have a quick look in the setup in there. Okay, so we're already in the lap computer. We, we connect by going up here. And we save files by here. So we go uh, save here. It's because I've been in and out. Um, set up two. Okay, so we're going to go down to the triggers. I'm just going to close some of these up. We're getting a bit out of control here. So we go down to triggers, trigger setup, and it actually has 1UZ FE as a trigger setup. And it has 1UZ VVTi as a trigger setup. So that's really simple. If you're doing other cars, there's a whole list of other cars, or there's a heap in there now. Or you can do like multi-tooth or missing tooth, uh, one tooth per TDC, whatever. You can choose different ones. So we're going to go to 1UZ FE. Now if I crank that, it would backfire because I've put individual coils on it. In here, trig one. It's a reluctor, so that is correct. And there's the voltage it needs to generate before it actually says, yes, we've got a trigger. I have already checked it. And we do have triggers. Reluctor, level two. So those figures will work just fine. The problem comes down here, calibrate. This will work fine if you're running the factory ignition, the, the minus four. But for this one, it will not work. So we just click into set base timing. That locks the timing at 10 degrees. Once this whole setup is up and running in a vehicle, no matter how many times you've done it, you should always check your base timing. Because sometimes they catch you out and it might pick up on other problems. This one, individual coils, if I put it on a minus 355 
it would be five degrees out. I'm actually going to change it to 355 flat. I'm going to change it to 355 flat, 355 flat, and I'm going to push enter. And I push done, brings it up, and I'm going to store that to the ECU. And I'm also going to save it over here. Just going to confirm off the last one I did that that's what it should be. 355, yes. Now, it should go. Every, all the other setup is done. Let's have a look. Normally, I would have the fuel pump running from the ECU. This one is a bit different because the fuel pump relay is in the car and the car is in Australia. was the very first startup on this ECU and this whole setup in fact I had not started it previous um, and that that actually sounded pretty good for a first startup cold start needs some work which the whole tune needs some work but not too bad considering and uh, hopefully you've watched my whole series on this setup I will try and get the whole video of the whole wiring job done as well and um, continue on a VVTI next and we've got a whole lot of more things we can do on these aftermarket computers trying to keep it real basic so do it your do it yourself guys can learn a bit more and be a bit more confident with your aftermarket computers so I hope that was helpful and we'll talk to you again catch you later